Yeah, guys, I always pick up what line you can when you're out. I always carry a trash bag with me. There's actually not much trash today, good and bad. The bad is because probably the flood washed it all away, so it's downstream now. Good morning everyone. Welcome to Max Extreme Air Fishing Outdoors. Call from my friend Mark. He owns and runs Hound Dog Hats. If you're not familiar with them, just Google them. It's really cool hats with leather patches on them. Really good looking hats. Google that. But he goes by this dam every day on the way home from work. And I fish it some, not a lot. Um, I fished it last year, didn't have a good day there, so I didn't do a video on it. But he said it looks like the dam has failed. It's an old mill dam, it's probably about 12, 15 foot high. He said it looks like it's failed on the last flood. So anyway, we're gonna go there, fish it. There's spotted bass in there. There's largemouth, white bass, you name it, it's in there. We're gonna go see the dam, try to catch some fish, because we'll still be able to catch fish below the dam, um, and check it out. So this is on the deep river, just right up from US 1. I said, anyway, let's get busy. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, the river's a little murky. We're gonna try the first spot. We're gonna just work our way up to the dam and see what we can catch. What I brought today was just beetle spins. I brought some other lures, mainly small stuff. Goes right here where I'm fishing. A boat can get all the way up from Buckhorn Dam, but these rocks right here stop any further upstream movement. Uh, so, you know, there could be a 10 pound bass right here. Uh, well, there's a big 10 pound bass anywhere here, um, but it's more river upstream. This is more a mill pond going down. It does look like the dam has failed just on the left corner, about a four or five foot section. It's just caved away. I don't know how good you can see that, but we're gonna get up there. Look at this pretty spot right here. You got mountain laurel. We're in the Piedmont of North Carolina, but the cool thing about this area is you got lonely pines growing real close, and you also have a disjunct population of white pines about 15 miles up river on both sides. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, got Mount Laurel right here. Look at this big rock, rock outcropping. Uh, but anyway, let's make our way up to the dam. We're gonna slowly fish, working up there. Uh, so let's get busy. Good place for copperheads. Hey guys, this is actually a good spot to come and hike. Um, it was about a mile, three quarters of a mile up to the dam from the highway. Just bring a trash bag because it does get perch jerk a lot. I'm gonna put a sign up in two languages saying no uh, littering, please pick up your trash. I just, I've got the signs made. I just hadn't done it here yet. I've done some of those at places I frequent at Jordan. Um, but a note, there is two trails here. One follows the river, which it does get a little rough going up to the dam. There's another one following the ridge. 
that's the way I'll walk out. So if you just want to walk up to the dam, there's actually a trail if you can find it following the ridge, which is a lot easier. Uh, but anyway, let's make our way up there. With your jacket, I'm not gonna leave it there. All right, guys, I don't know if you can hear me with all this rushing water. See, the dam has failed right there. It's about five feet just come out of it. It's evidently somewhere down here. Um, I doubt they'll ever fix that because if you look, you can see some other places are track bad. The fell over there. Uh, so I would imagine they'll take this out or just leave it as is. Um, I don't see them fixing it. It's not going to go to the bank right here because of this big rock clear. Um, the good thing, I guess, about it is is when it's low water, the water just come around this side, it may give American eels a way upstream. rod actually throw a spot but this is perfect spot right here to throw a cordell spot a quarter ounce i can get by with it and a light rod with six pound line Got that gore, guys. I don't know if I get him in. Move, lovely. I can get over this tree and get him down here. meat off of them, it's hard to clean. Hey, 
way, guys. Let's get him back in the water. Hey, baby, move. Watch out. Watch this. We're going to put him back in the water. Move. Alright guys, me and Mugly had a good morning. Mugly got messed around chewing sticks, running around, run up down the bank. But anyway, the main purpose of this trip today was to uh, check out the damn fair that Mark told me about last night. He was right for once. <laughs> um, anyway, it has failed. It's about five, six feet of it gone on the left corner. I've already showed you that up close, uh, but I don't know if you can hear me, so I'll probably dub that in. But I, you probably, you've seen that already. Um, we caught some fish, um, but that wasn't the goal to catch fish today. It's a good spot to fish, but make sure you bring a trash bag because this place does have some litter bugs. This is a good spot in the summer to get out and wade, wear some good shoes, but you need to really wade and, and wade getting behind these rocks and these little pools behind the rocks. Spotted bass in here, gar, largemouth, white bass, you know, brim. Um, I used to fish this right much in the 90s. We used to catch some big brim just right below the dam over here. Maybe I'll throw that picture in if I can find it and scan it because it's definitely not digital. But anyway, guys, leave some comments. Let me know if you like this kind of video. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.